Hey everyone, it's Robin here. So you know how framing, contrast, and scale are like the bread and butter of photography, right? But sometimes, even with these techniques, your shots might still feel a bit flat. And trust me, I've been there too. In this episode, I'm going to share three simple tips for street photography beginners. First, we'll talk about creating your own unique angles to make your shots stand out. Then, we'll dive into using reflections for added depth and interest. And with the rainy season upon us here in Taiwan, my third tip will focus on how to embrace the rain and capture the unique and vibrant atmosphere it brings to our streets. Let's bring some life into our photos together. First up, let's talk about creating your own unique angles. We're at Monadon Coffee, a cozy new cafe in Chifongjie. I absolutely love the giant red brick wall opening here. It lets in just the right amount of natural light, highlighting this empty chair beautifully. Normally, I start with a warm-up shot to capture that soft light and shadow or a moody vibe. But sometimes there's just too much going on, making the shot look noisy. So here's what I do. I place a glass on the left side to block out some of that visual noise and change the aperture to f2 to let the bokeh add some texture to the picture. Now, if I want to focus all the attention on the empty chair, I put another glass of coffee on the right side to block out the black chair. Uh, by placing the two glasses at different distances, I create depth and give the viewer's eye some space to breathe. What do you think? Before or after? Let me know in the comments below. Second tip is about creating reflective flare with this tiny glassware. I always incorporate it into my pictures, even in my professional work. It's simple and costs less than 50 Taiwanese dollars to create the effect, and it really spices up your photography. The final tip is to embrace the rain. While it can be annoying for street photography, I've found out that if you set your shutter speed above half thousand, you can freeze the raindrops, making them look like snow on the street. For an experiment, I recommend starting at the metro station, Dongxiao Fuxing, exit 7. You can explore different levels with cover, without worrying about getting wet. Here are my results. Hope you like them. And that's it for today. I hope you found inspiration from this episode. Please leave comments to let me know what you think. Well, one last thing. 
If you're digging the background music, I've whipped it up myself and it's completely royalty free. You can grab it from my playlist for your own use. See you later. Thank you and peace out. <laughs>